I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to our service today. And is it ever a special service? It's Christmas Day. And you just can't believe it because the time comes and goes. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. The older you get, the faster time goes by. But here it is, Christmas Day, the day we celebrate the birth of the dear Lord Jesus. And we're going to be thinking about the Simeon today. And he has a song that I tell you, it is filled with prophecy. It'll bless your heart. Well, we're reading from Luke chapter 2. <clears throat> if you have your Bibles, I know some of you do have your Bibles. Luke chapter 2 and turn to verse 25. And we're going to be talking about an old man named Simeon. And he made a song, gave a song, and it was a prophetic song, and you can't believe all that was in his song. So you stay with us. You'll enjoy it. You'll be blessed. On Christmas Day, we're talking about Jesus Christ and his future and the things that are coming in the future. So we read, beginning with the 25th verse, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when his parents brought the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, they, he, then he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all the people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at these things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken, be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. In our prayer today, we're going to include the persecuted church in North Korea. So, dear Lord, we thank you for this song of Simeon. We thank you for all of the wonderful things it tells us about, things that have come to pass, and yet some still yet to come to pass. And so we rejoice in your word that you sent it to us and kept it in the holy book so we can be inspired and challenged and encouraged and helped. And this Christmas day, Lord, oh, we just pray for everyone. I know that for some people this is the first Christmas without a loved one, and that's a hard time. My wife has gone 11 years now, and uh, Christmas Eve she's when she went to be with you. And so there's some that are lonely hearts, and there's some that are uh, just wondering, but you know, just we know that you're the balm of Gilead, and we know that you'll comfort hearts, and you give us peace. And like old Simeon said, oh, he rejoiced because he's seen that salvation. And we see that salvation in Jesus. And so comfort hearts and strengthen us all. And especially we think about our brothers and sisters in North Korea. And oh God, we know they're dying there. They're being put to death and families are split up and ch children don't know where the parents are and vice versa and it's terrible. And s but so we know that even this Christmas time, the Christ child, now the Son of God, the Holy Son of God, sitting at the right hand of the throne of God, interceding for all of these people, everyone who's having a struggle. And someday you're going to take us home and you're going to honor them and they're going to wear the martyr's crown. They're going to be blessed and the trouble's going to be over. And so we just hope, thank you for that hope we have in Jesus, wonderful Jesus. So this is Christmas Day, the day your Savior came. Help us all to draw close to each other and close to you and help us to serve the wonderful Christ. And to those who have never opened their heart to the Savior, we are praying that this hour he may be born again in their hearts. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.